really specific question, but uh, it's it's mainly from brands, from, from entrepreneurs, uh, people of the older demographic. Uh, and older, I mean, uh, it's, for Instagram in particular, the, the main demographic is under 35. That's the majority of people on it. And a lot, you know, a lot of people that have businesses, that are successful entrepreneurs who had enough time and uh, to build up their brands or businesses or whatever, uh, they're above 35. That's just the nature of things. And they're really intrigued by Instagram and what it has to offer and you know the fixation on it by the younger generation. Uh, but they don't understand how it can, it can generate an ROI for their business. They don't understand what the, the importance of it. And, uh, and that's something that I've been working on trying to really uh, iron out to, for brands uh, to, to show them that there's a, there's a definitely measurable R ROI that you can get, but then there's also a, a lot of intangible and uh, ROI that you can't really uh, necessarily put an exact number on it. Um, and, and I'm gonna call that goodwill, right? The goodwill that you establish with your, your customers that are then following you uh, by either sharing their photos, interacting with them, uh, putting out content that they get to see on their phone and enjoy. I mean, one of the things that maybe, if you're not in the social media game, uh, if you kind of stayed off the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever they are, right? Uh, you may not fully understand how involved these platforms, these programs are in people's lives. Uh, I mean, people go to bed, the last thing they check is their Instagram profile. People wake up and the first thing they're checking is their Instagram feed or their Twitter feed or their Snapchat feed. Preach. Right? It's the first thing people think about uh, when they start their day, when they uh, you know, run through difficult problems, they go and, and they check their phones. Uh, and we can argue all day if this is good or bad, but the fact of the matter is, uh, this is the reality of it. Preach. And, and there's, what was that? Nothing. Oh, uh, that, this is the reality of it. And there's 600 million plus people on Instagram. Facebook has billions of people on it. Uh, just everyone, and you know, there's seven billion people in the world. So we're talking about over one seventh of the population in the world has social media. And to ignore that, to ignore that would just be, it would be like the, the people you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago that were ignoring the internet. Right, uh, that we're ignoring the the new thing called the internet now that has invaded our entire lives. Right, uh, so you don't want to miss out on that. But uh, so that with that intangible ROI, is like you're building goodwill and relationships with your customers for uh, for your future. Right, uh, you're getting involved in their daily lives. Um, you're you're building a, an example that Connor likes to use. Like you're building your re online real estate. Right, you're staking your claim. Like this is the homestead. Right, uh, if you remember back to American history classes, where the homesteaders were people from the east, they were they were a lot. They were given the opportunity to move west and claim plots of land. Manifest right? destiny. Yeah, the manifest destiny, American dream. Uh, they claim the new frontier. Right, online is the next frontier. I know they say space is the final frontier. Well, online is the next frontier, and you need to claim your real estate and uh, claim your space there and start impacting people's lives so when they go online, they're thinking of you, right? The more you can get your prospect, the more you can get your, your followers, your customers to think of you and your brand, uh, that's just gonna translate into more sales, easier sales, more customer loyalty, uh, just better relationships overall, which it's really tough to measure those, uh, especially early on, but they, they manifest themselves so greatly. Uh, you know, one small action that you do on social media can have a huge ripple effect. Um, if you go viral, right? Uh, it, it can create really some amazing opportunities. And those are some of like the, you know, those are some of the ROI metrics that you can't really measure. Starting out is tough to measure. You know, you can get creative and, and you know try to apply uh, customer loyalty to increases in sales and and all that. But uh, uh, I just think that stuff is just something you need to invest in, just regardless. It's just part of doing business. But then on top of that, you can measure, you know, you can measure your followers. You can measure if you get a media article or an interview or featured on national television. Uh, you can measure the ROI, like how many followers came your way, right? From where? You can there's tools to track these. Uh, you can measure conversions, so uh, people that go from your social media account, so from, from your Instagram account to your website, right? To your offer, you can measure that. Um, these are all measurable, and whether you you know whether you know it or not, just having a profile will draw traffic, even if it's just one person, will bring them to your website. And chances are that one person's already been warmed up by your Instagram feed, by the photos you post, by the content that you post. So getting them to your website is getting a warm lead to, you know, to in front of your offer, which is amazing, right? That's one sale just by setting up a free profile online. And then you learn how to, to leverage it and uh, 
and I don't know, if you learn how to leverage it and, and really invest your time and money to get the most out of it, to maximize it, you can convert that you know one person, you can get tens, 20, 30, hundreds, thousands of new leads and customers just from a social media platform. And thousands of new leads, uh, I'd pay $1,000 for 1,000 leads, right? Uh, you know, especially if you have a good product or service in the back end, so many opportunities. I, yeah, just like I can go on and on all day about all the opportunities. So uh, definitely worth worthwhile investment, worthwhile to focus on. If you're not, you need to get in the game. Cool. It was great to hear from you.